Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, I'll follow up on that pre-war 999 that arrived today. As you see, this is looking better. The longer it sits, the better it looks. Anyway, I moved it onto the fifth rail. As you see, I'm gonna run this on DC. As you see, these things run really well on DC. You run them nice and slow. They don't buzz like they do on AC at all. As you see. No AC buzz coming from the uh, E-unit solenoid. Anyway, I'm having a lot of fun with this thing. Sure am. Runs well, looks nice now. It was dirt cheap. Gives me something to do. And you have a tangible result. And this was absolute junk, which is why no one else bid on it. You see that wheel slip? So that's the only thing left to do on this locomotive is pull the motor out, pull that wheel off, uh, put a couple of bites in that axle and press it back on. And this thing's up and running. It's old, a bit noisy, but it's up and running with no problems at all, as you see it. Now you can replace the intermediate gear. That makes a tremendous difference in uh, quieting these motors down. But it's just a good, old, honest, 85-year-old locomotive. And as you see, it runs absolutely perfectly. And this is running on DC. So, like I said, I'm happy with it. And again, it just reinforces everything I say. I'm sure you're tired of hearing it. Don't overlook the junk. I mean, this thing is in fairly decent condition. It looks nice. It's completely original. 85 years old. And it was 10 bucks. <laughs> really hard to beat that. Anyway, it's probably the last video on this. Just wanted to do a quick video on it. Running on DC. So as always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, benstrain at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.